recognize Eileen Latimer, Ms. Latimer, right where she should be. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. As many of you know, this budget has been a hot button and source of much controversy. And of course, I'm speaking to the article as written, but I think I I'd like to go over one more time and bear with me. I'll do it from my notes, how we derived at that figure. The proposed budget originally was 27 million five hundred fifteen thousand five hundred fifteen and thirty three thousand, which was a one point nine million dollar increase over last year's budget, or seven point five percent. Last year, we had a hard time getting the voters to increase the budget by less than half a million dollars, and respectfully, we ended up with another default budget. This increase, this final budget up here of $26,379,000 represents $758,531 more than last year's budget. While it is being said that we have looked to slash $1.1 million from the budget, we have slashed nothing and have in fact increased the request to $758,531 over last year. However, that is $773,000 below the selectman's request. There are approximately 500 lines to the budget, and we did review them department by department. We reviewed the request. We also took other things into consideration, the first being that last year's budget failed. The second thing we considered was 363000 was an adjustment for insurance payments. We're paying less than previously anticipated. That could not go in the selectmen's budget, but could be considered in ours. If you can understand, the budget process stretches for months, and through those months, some costs are moving targets. Sometimes we do not know until the end of the year when we wrap things up how much we actually spent in the year before. And in preparing the budget, the budget committee carefully considered what was requested, what was turned down, what was ultimately approved, what was spent, how it was spent, the conditions of our reserves, and what was being proposed in the future. And that did change moment by moment. So again, where we started with last year and how last year ended, where we went to this year. Did have a discussion with the town manager prior to budget processing that we try to stay as close to level and put anything new in Warren articles. Unfortunately, with a $1.9 million increase, that seems to not have happened completely. The other things to be considered were the COLA. And for those who don't know what those letters represent, it's the cost of living adjustment, which for 2015 is 1.7%. With a COLA adjustment of 1.7%, going back to a 7.5% increase is just not reasonable. We're charged with that. And those numbers can be found on ssa.gov. Another thing to consider, because there, here again, this is the income that people are making and paying these bills. When you're looking at an increase of $1.9 million, is reported in August 2012 from the U.S. Conference of Mayors, and this report can be found online. 
for 2013 to 2014, it was reported that pay rates across the board for all occupations were 23% less than in 2008. So that means that if you were a plumber or a carpenter or you were a clerk in an office or a lawyer in 2014, you were being paid 23% less than you were making if you were applying for the same job in 2008. Also taken into consideration in preparing this budget, and I know a big hot button is the fuel adjustment. I can tell you where ultimately the numbers came from, but I don't have to hard sell you on it, I hope, as you fill up your car every day at the pump. We started the session with not knowing what the fuel would be. We were told that electric would go up, gas was going down, and we could see that. How much was it going down? How long would it continue to go down? We don't trust these prices. We know that they'll go down, but they'll go back up. But we were hitting unprecedented rates in gasoline going down. Well, we used a figure of yeah, I use figure of 39.8%, and that figure came from the Bureau of Statistics. It was higher, up to 59%, but that represents all fuels. So whether you use regular, whether you use diesel, the Bureau of Statistics is giving you overall 39.8%, and the Budget Committee requested 25%, because we know or we don't, we don't know, but we wanted there to be some consideration for the fact that it could go the other way. These figures were at the close as we got up at the close of, of December. Clearly, as we've gone through January, as I've seen on my Facebook, people are taking pictures as down at low as $1.93 in the area. So if one is to question where we decided to take money out and have a fuel adjustment, that is it. But I will tell you this, we did not touch the electric rates because we do not know how they are going to go. Although one would assume that part of the electric rates has a fuel adjustment rate tacked to it, and that should bring it down a little bit, even though we are getting an increase in electric itself. So the mindset on electric was left alone. Only gas was touched. We were given, I looked at the figure of 39.8 at a point in time when it was higher by a quarter at the pump than it is right now and only recommended going to a 25% difference on fuel, and that's gas and diesel. Other things to take into consideration when deciding what the number should be for the 2015 budget is we now have the close of, or the tentative close because they are not finalized, and I want to reiterate that so that you're clear. We ended up with $811,000 in surplus from last year's budget. There's a few factors in that to further reduce it. We have a couple of um, invoices, and it's with SRS that are, have not come through, that go back to November, I'm being told, and the payment on those is somewhere between 445000 and 457000 I do not have the exact figures on that, that I'm sorry. Um, that has not been paid while those invoices are worked through. So potentially out of $811,000 that was left for fiscal 2014, we probably have exposure, let's say, on the high end of 457000 Clearly, that left us with well over $300,000 in surplus from last year's budget. And taken out of that budget were a few recommendations that the Budget Committee made for proposals that would have gone into the 2015 budget to the tune of approximately $50,000. So those encumbrances have been taken out, 
of the 2014 budget. The bottom line on the 2014 budget is $811,000. Out of that 811, we will have to come to terms with 445,000 or $457,000 in SRS payments. I hope I haven't confused everybody too much by now, but I do want to make it a point to let you know that driving at these numbers were not easy. These are moving targets, there again. And sometimes not everything is known in the beginning, certainly when we were sitting there in October beginning the review of the budget, it changed drastically to when we got to um, our wrap-up on January 6th. And that is reflected in the process. Ms. Uh, Latimer, as a proponent of the article, as the Budget Committee, I've um, given you the floor, you have the floor for 10 minutes. I've got lots of people I know who want to speak to this. So if you could wrap up your remarks from the chair of the budget committee's perspective, I'd appreciate it and we can um, let the other folks have their input. Thank you, Mr. Moderator, and I want to thank you for the time that you have given to me. Um, in wrap up of this, a lot of things were considered. I hope that I have given you some reason to believe that this was not as portrayed, just a number pulled out of thin air, that a lot of thought went into it, a lot of thought went into the things that were taken out in the end and the number that was given to you. Problem we have is that based on income, there is only so much that we can spend. We do have an SB2 process and many times we get a second shot at things that are put in as Warren articles. Um, in this particular case, you are looking at a budget that has, and I want to make it clear before I end, not slashed from last year, but still increased by $758,531. This should be apples to apples. The things that were touched upon and the biggest one is the fuel, and hopefully you can see where that fuel adjustment came from on our part, um, was the biggest one touched. So with that additional $758,000, apples for apples, you should suffer no consequences last year to this year. There should be none of this panic that services should be cut, that beaches won't be cleaned, that trees won't be collected, because if you had it last year, it was in the default budget. We didn't strip those numbers. We gave you an adjustment on just a handful of lines, and we substantiated why we <coughs> felt that way. The last piece that was taken out was on sidewalks. For any of you who are upset about sidewalks, I apologize for that and the decision on the sidewalks was we have funded them in the past. There is not a clear plan, nor is there the manpower to do anything about them. We were told that when it came to sidewalks, when we get to the end of Seafood Festival, we only have two people, and those two people got to be spread around to fill potholes, which is a whole different discussion that I won't get into. So in final analysis, to fund $26,000 for a project that probably, because of manpower and because of lack of a plan, will not get done, that money was removed. I think I have pretty much explained all the issues with this budget, how we came to this amount. I would wholeheartedly ask you to um, vote for this as it is, um, amend nothing either up or down. And certainly it can be said either ways. This was a well thought through budget for where you are, where your incomes are, and what we need to spend. Thank you, Ms. Thank you. 